Hello there everybody and welcome back to Gwent. Today we're going to try out some challenges to unlock some extra leaders. I'm wanting to go straight with Skellige. Purely because I'm a huge, huge Skellige fan. And I think Iron Fleet is definitely the first one we're going to try. Well, I'm saying it's definitely going to be the first one we're going to try. It's the only one we can try. So here we go. If we actually manage to complete um, Iron Fleet on a guard and a mortal islanders, we do unlock King Bran. Who will then allow us to play the discard. Um, archetype, which is really, really cool. Okay, let's do this Iron Fleet. We get to pick a specific deck. I guess we'll play with Wild Hunt. This is a Wild Hunt deck that I've been using at the moment. Okay, so when an army loses men, it should grow weaker. It is simply a dictate of it is a simple dictate of logic. Yet Skellige routinely defies dictates. Routinely defies dictates. Logics included. In fact, the fewer warriors Bran has in his charge, the more fiercely they fight. Thus, when foes watch his ranks thin and their hearts begin to rise, a Skelliger axe cleaves through <laughs> moments later. That's actually really nice. And there's King Bran. Really, really cool. Let's start the battle. Mead! More mead! It's premium as well, boys. Oh. Lost words. Okay. So these challenges, let's see exactly how they work. You'll get to see some of the cards that I've actually managed to um, buy slash unlock. And yeah, we've got Ragnarug there. We're going to get rid of these Biting Frosts. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get a uh, Hound. We might actually summon one, though. Playing discard, so he's going to be playing a lot of the warships at the back. I think it would be smart, actually, straight away to use Ragnarug. Yeah, let's do it. See if this deck has clear skies. Okay, it doesn't look like it does. This is going to be really good for us. He's got Wild Hunt Warrior here. Boom, Ragnarum. Set at my table. So I'm oppressive drink. and so beautiful. That hurt. Okay, we may as well get value here. Death comes for you. A word Here come the crones. Okay, we won that straight away. Thank you, Ragnarok. <laughs> Such a strong card. It's insane. We want a mulligan away the frost. Hey, that's good for a wild hunt hound. Okay, so he's now used his... Um, he's now used his long ships so i don't know if he's going to have that many i think still what we should do is put the hound at uh, the ice summoned right at the back just in case he decides he wants to use anything else on the uh, siege the of the axe. okay he's using a skirmisher we can use a drowner to pull the skirmisher back not unlike some overseas plundering there's another spring. one okay hello does it look like he's got a clear skies, which is really good for us. Really, you... Ah, oh, Scorch? That's harsh. Okay, let's use gills. Naivety is a fool's blessing. Huh. Let's use Caranthian now. There is no escape. Wait a minute, what does Caranthia do? Move five enemies to his row. Oh, god damn it. I meant to do... I did the wrong thing. Okay, I actually meant to... Um... That's not getting in the way of me, Axe. Well, that's not that bad, I suppose. I actually meant to um, summon the Frost, but I didn't want to pull them off. Okay. Kind of a bit stuck here. Um... We do have another frost in the deck, I think. 
We've used one. Yeah, we do. So you know what? Let's use Aridin. Any last words? Bring Aridin down. We'll use a navigator, which will allow us to pull out a wild hunt hound. Which will then allow us to use our frost. Voila. Let's not get in the way of the axe. decoy, okay. Let's be an absolute douche. Not your Carl R is going to push them right away. Boom. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Won't pay us in gold. For those, uh, for those of you that don't know, blood. Frost actually does one damage um, to everything on the row, which is really, really strong. Death comes for you. I think we're going to kick Under King Ron's ass. On you, he doesn't seem to have any form say? of anti-weather, which is really nice for us. I don't think he's going to win. We'll pass. Damn it. So we're going to help him. Voila. We won the first round. Awesome. Thank you, Mr. Bran. Okay, we gain 25 off for that. Nice. Honor Guard is the next one. So we're going to be learning a little bit about the Queen's Guard here. We'll play the same. Same deck. Uh, that's exactly the same again. Okay. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> of course, Trent. Estead Esacrisa. Hmm. Actually really strong, but oh my god, we do not need three crones. Okay. Let's get rid of one navigator. That's not bad. We've got a shackles. We can set at my table and let's drink. We could lock his Queen's Guard. What? Why is he thrown? All of his priestesses away. What on earth? That seems really, really weird. Okay, well, here's Bruce and the lovely ladies. You absolute wuss, King Bran. What are you planning? You've just thrown away all your medics, all your priestesses. And now you've run away. What's going on? A frost. Okay, well, we're going to put it at the front. Purely because Queen's Guard. And we'll come out on the front row. We serve her who is virgin mother and crone. I think the AI needs a little bit of help. <laughs> what the hell was that? <sighs> Confused much. Okay. We'll frost over the back row as well. Fancy. I feel bad for Mr. Brand. This this isn't working, is it? No. This definitely is not working. Okay. Yes. This is Wild Hunt Warrior. I feel really bad. I wanted this to be good. Holy shit, we're, we're destroying. Okay. Death comes for you. Pansy. No, this makes no sense. God damn it. Okay. Um. Let's just put you down and. Pull one this way. It doesn't make a difference. We've definitely won. I don't think the AI is actually that smart. God damn it. Stop doing that. Uh, okay. We'll use... I think we've only got two Wild Hunt Warriors in the deck. I'm not sure. See if we can pull another one. Oh, we can. Okay, that's fine. Pansy. Pansy. 
<laughs> I feel so bad. Okay, he's not going to use weather. So let's just use torrential rain, middle row. We can use Ard to push. Of pitch. Let's get uh, this we over we may as well just go straight for the win. So what? Weather Should man, I weather is so strong. Um, I don't, I don't know what else to do. We, we've just, we just outright won. Out with the crowns! Come on, quick now. Give us all you got. Um. <laughs> okay, we will just put Karen Thea here. One. We'll pull. Why can I not pull that one? Okay. Oh, there you go. We'll pull all five Any last into the middle. And uh, they're all just going to be eaten up. Any last words? Bye, Frost. Use a, a wild warrior. Kill you, buff you, and wow. There you go. So, I feel kind of like silly because I'm showcasing you a deck that I'm actually going to showcase in another video. But we are absolutely stomping. Hmm. I thought this would be more challenging. Okay. Leader card. We get King Brand next after the Immortal Islanders. I wonder if it goes up in uh, difficulty. We'll see. Wild Hunt deck again. Let's do it. Weather Wild Hunt control is pretty strong. Mead. More mead. Any last words? Any last words? Navigators are nice. White Frost is pretty strong as well. Um, let's get rid of the warrior. Nithral, hello. Okay, that's fine. Okay, this is really good actually. So, we know he's going to be using, just because of the thumbnail of this deck, he's going to be using um, Clam and Crate Raiders. So, we're going to White Frost the two front rows. A bite of just one more. Bag. Oh my god, okay. Here's Nithral. Nithral basically makes oh, Fighting no. Frost damage oh, do two damage moment, per turn. Very strong indeed. Is there any need to use Water Hag? No, you know what? Let's use Wild Hunt Hound here. We'll cast Frost in the back row. Nothing like some overseas plundering and spring. And we're just going to rip him a new one. Holy crap. Okay. Uh, just because. And eat me ghoulies. Look at He's a wild hunt warrior. Death comes for you. An Olgiad. A bite of just one. Here comes Vag, but unfortunately, he's just trapped me. in this loop of weather. Obviously, the game's still in open beta, so issues like this may occur. Let's use Eridin. Any last words? And we'll actually use a wild hunt warrior here. There is no escape. To take that out. King Brand's pass. King Brand is not tricky. At all. Hmm. A bite of just one morsel. Holy crap, I've just realized how much of a nerf they've done to Morkvag. Morkvag loses three strength? 
when he comes back? Holy crap, that's insane. So he's dead next turn when we kill him. That's nuts. I'll suck every last drop out of you. Bow before modern Freya. Morgwag, man, bad luck. Bow before yeah, this, modern this is definitely Freya. an interaction that shouldn't Let's happen. Let's not get in the way of me, axe. It makes no sense. Okay, so Wild Hunt Hound, we'll just do the front row. Billion barrels of burning pitch. Uh, okay, so we can Wild Hunt Navigator. Oh, then again, it'll spawn a copy. Hmm. Okay, we'll use the Water Hag. And we'll use Torrential Rain at the back row. So what? Should I pound it into a poker? I don't think we've got any more Wild Hunt Hounds. We don't. And I'm sure that summon means... Pull it out of your we know the I'm not 100%. Time and we'll try it. All of them. Yeah. We don't actually have another one. Billion barrels of burning pitch. Damn it. Okay. You don't worry, pass, I know what I'm doing. You gotta pay. Can't you know, I think I just messed ways. up, but I really haven't. Give us all you got! Can he win? Can he win? Mogvark's back now. Let's get this over with. Oh, so he's not dead. I think that's probably just because of all the buffs. Oh, well. Well, there you go, guys. King Brand is now unlocked. That really wasn't that tricky. With Wild Hunt Control. I'm going to show you the deck list. Just in case you're intrigued. There it is. Yes, King Bran. We're definitely going to try out how the cripple next. That'll definitely improve my um, current wounding deck that I'm using. So let's go into deck build and I'll show you the wild hunt deck I'm currently using. Voila. So we've got three wild hunt warriors, two wild hunt hounds, two arch griffins. These actually count as uh, removing weather, which is really, really nice. These count as um, clear skies. Per row, it's really good. Uh, Drowners, Nithral for that frost. Uh, Gills to allow us to draw Ragnarug and maybe White Frost or one of the Crones if needed. But maybe even Nithral. Gills is really, really strong. It's it, it's pretty cuckoo <laughs> what you can do. If we go for like, for example, the full round and not pull a Crone out, we can definitely guarantee as long as we drop this like at the end of the round that we can actually get the Crones out. She's really nice and really strong. Garl Ard. Oh, excuse me. Pretty good. Yeah, this is the deck. So we now have King Bran, which is really, really good. Really, really excited to try that out. I'm going to end it there, though, guys, because what I'm going to do, I'm going to try and do a leader each. And, uh, yeah, have separate videos for them. So, yeah, take care. Hope you enjoyed it. If you've seen it, so please leave a like. And if you want to see more, make sure to subscribe button is firmly pressed. Take care. And I'll see you. Bye. Guys, okay, it doesn't look like it does. This is going to be really good for us. Death He's a wild warrior here. Boom, Ragnarum. Set at my table. So Let's oppressive break. and so beautiful. That hurt. Okay, we may as well get value here. Death comes for you. Here come the crones. Okay, we won that straight away. Thank you, Ragnarok. This is a wild hunt deck that I've been using at the moment. Okay, so when an army loses men, it should grow weaker. It is simply a dictate of lo it is a simple dictate of logic. Yet Skelliger routinely defies dictates. Routinely defies dictates. Logics included. In fact. The fewer warriors Bran has in his charge, the more fiercely they fight. Thus, 
when foes watch his ranks thin and their hearts begin to rise, a Skelliger axe cleaves through <laughs> moments later. That's actually really nice. And there's King Bran. Really, really cool. Let's start the battle. Mead! More mead! <laughs> it's premium as well, boys. Oh. Last words. Okay. So these challenges, let's see exactly how they work. You'll get to see some of the cards that I've actually managed to um, buy slash unlock. And yeah, we've got Ragnarug there. We're going to get rid of these Biting Frosts. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get a uh, Hound. We might actually summon one, though. He's playing Discard, so he's going to be playing a lot of the Warships at the back. I think it would be smart, actually, straight away to use Ragnarug. Yeah, let's do it. See if this deck has clear skill. <laughs> Such a strong card. It's insane. We want a mulligan away the frost. Hey, that's good for a wild hunt hound. Okay. So he's now used his um He's now used his long ship so i don't know if he's going to have that many i think still what we should do is put the hound at uh, the ice summoned right at the back just in case he decides he wants to use anything else on the uh, siege run the of my axe. okay he's using a skirmisher we can use a drowner hello there everybody and welcome back to gwent today we're going to try out some challenges to unlock some extra leaders i'm wanting to go straight with skelliger because I'm a huge, huge Skelliger fan, and I think Iron Fleet is definitely the first one we're going to try. Well, I'm saying it's definitely going to be the first one we're going to try. It's the only one we can try. So here we go. If we actually manage to complete um, Iron Fleet on a guard and a mortal islanders, we do unlock King Bran, who will then allow us to play the discard um, archetype, which is really, really cool. Okay, let's do this Iron Fleet. We get to pick a specific deck. I guess we'll play Wild Hunt. 